Yogi Garaknath, also known as Garaksanath, estimated c. early 11th century, was a Hindu yogi and saint who was the founder of the Nath tradition. He is considered as one of the two notable disciples of Matsyendranath. His followers are found in India at the place known as Garvagiri which is in Ahmednagar in the state of Maharashtra. These followers are called yogis, Garaknathi, Darshani or Kanfata. The details of his biography are unknown and disputed. He was one of nine saints also known as Navnath and is widely popular in Maharashtra, India. Hagiographies describe him as more than a human teacher and someone outside the laws of time who appeared on earth in different ages. Historians state Garaknath lived sometime during the first half of the second millennium CE, but they disagree in which century. Estimates based on archaeology and text range from Briggs' 15th to 12th century to Grierson's estimate of the 14th century. Garaknath is considered a Mahayogi or great yogi in the Hindu tradition. He did not emphasize a specific metaphysical theory or a particular truth, but emphasized that the search for truth and the spiritual life is a valuable and normal goal of man. Garaknath championed yoga, spiritual discipline and an ethical life of self-determination as a means to reaching samadhi and one's own spiritual truths. Garaknath, his ideas and yogis have been highly popular in rural India, with monasteries and temples dedicated to him found in many states of India, particularly in the eponymous city of Gorakhpur. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Biography Topic. Historian accounts Historians vary in their estimate on when Garaknath lived. Estimates based on archaeology and text range from Briggs 11th to 12th century to Baba Farid documents and Jayanainsvari manuscripts leading Abbott to connect Garaknath to the 13th century, to Grierson who relying on evidence discovered in Gujarat suggests the 14th century. His influence is found in the numerous references to him in the poetry of Kabir and of Guru Nanak of Sikhism, which describe him as a very powerful leader with a large following, thereby suggesting he likely lived around the time these spiritual leaders lived in India. Historical texts imply that Garaknath was originally a Buddhist in a region influenced by Shaivism, and he converted to Hinduism championing Shiva and Yoga. Garaknath led a life as a passionate exponent of ideas of Kamarila and Adi Shankara that championed the Yoga and Advaita Vedanta interpretation of the Upanishads. Garaknath considered the controversy between dualism and non-dualism spiritual theories in medieval India as useless from practice point of view. He emphasized that the choice is of the yogi, that the spiritual discipline and practice by either path leads to perfectly illumined samadhi state of the individual phenomenal consciousness," states Banerjee. Hagiographic <laughs> <laughs> accounts The hagiography on Garaknath describe him to have appeared on earth several times. The legends do not provide a time or place where he was born, and consider him to be superhuman. North Indian hagiographies suggest he originated from northwest India Punjab, with some mentioning Peshawar. Other hagiographies on Garaknath in Bengal and Bihar suggest he originated from eastern region of India including Bangladesh. These hagiographies are inconsistent, and offer varying records of the spiritual descent of Garaknath. All name Adinath and Matsyendranath as two teachers preceding him in the succession. Though one account lists five gurus preceding Adinath and another lists six teachers between Matsyendranath and Garaknath, current tradition has Adinath identified with Lord Shiva as the direct teacher of Matsyendranath, who was himself the direct teacher of Garaknath. The legends in the Nath tradition assert that he traveled widely across the Indian subcontinent, and accounts about him are found in some form in several places, including Nepal, Punjab, Sindh, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Assam. Tripura, Bengal, Odisha, Katiawar, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, and even Sri Lanka. Topic: <laughs> Nath Sampradaya. 
The Nas tradition states that its traditions existed before Garaknath, but the movement's greatest expansion happened under the guidance and inspiration of Garaknath. He produced a number of writings and even today is considered the greatest of the Naths. It has been purported that Garaknath wrote the first books on Laya Yoga. In India there are many caves, many with temples built over them, where it is said that Garaknath spent time in meditation. According to Bhagawan Nityananda, the Samadhi shrine tomb of Garaknath is at Nath Mandir near the Vajreshwari temple about one kilometre from Ganeshpuri, Maharashtra, India. According to legends Garaknath and Matsyendranath did penance in Kadri temple at Mangalore, Karnataka. They are also instrumental in laying Shivlingam at Kadri and Dharmasthala. The temple of Garaknath is also situated on hill called Garvagiri near Vambori, Talrahuri, Distarmednagar. There is also a famous temple of Garaknath in the state of Odisha. Garaknath Math The Garaknath Math is a monastery of the Nath monastic group named after the medieval saint, Garaknath c. 11th century, of the Nath Sampradaya. The Math and town of Gorakhpur in Uttar Pradesh is named after him. The monastery and the temple perform various cultural and social activities and serve as the cultural hub of the city. The monastery also publishes texts on the philosophy of Garaknath. Influence Hatha Yoga Some scholars associate the origins of Hatha Yoga with the Nath Yogis, in particular Garaknath and his guru Matsyendranath. According to British Indologist James Mallinson, this association is false. In his view, the origins of Hatha Yoga should be associated with the Dashanami Sampradaya of Advaita Vedanta, Hinduism, the mystical figure of Dattatreya, and the Ramanandis, while the origins of Hatha Yoga are disputed. According to Guy Beck, a professor of religious studies known for his studies on yoga and music, the connections between Goranath, the Kanfatas, and Hatha Yoga are beyond question. Nepal The Gurkhas of Nepal and Nepali people of India take their name from this scent. He has long been considered the Rastradvata Lord of, State of Nepal, with his name appearing on numerous versions of Nepalese coins and currency notes. Gorkha, a historical district of Nepal, is named after him. There is a cave with his paduka footprints and an idol of him. Every year on the day of Baisak Purnima there is a great celebration in Gorkha at his cave, called Rotmahotsav. It has been celebrated for the last 700 years, a legend asserts, state William Northey and John Morris, that a disciple of Mahendra by name Garaknath, once visited Nepal and retired to a little hill near Dio Patan. There he meditated in an unmovable state for 12 years. The locals built a temple in his honor there, and it has since been remembered with. In Tamil Siddha tradition Korakar is one among the 18 Siddhas and also known as Goranath amongst Navanathar. Agatya and Bogar were his gurus. His Jiva Samadhi temple is in Vadakapoyganalur of Nagapatinam district of Tamil Nadu. According to one account, he spent a portion of his growing up years in the Veliangiri Mountains in Korimbatore. Other sanctums related with Korakar are Pera, Thirachendur and Trikonamali. Korakar caves are found in Chaturagiri and Koli Hills. Like other Siddhas, Korakar has written songs on medicine, philosophy, and alchemy. <laughs> <laughs> West Bengal, Assam, Tripura 
The Bengali community located in these states and neighboring country of Bangladesh have a sizable number of Yogi Brahmins also called Rudraha Brahmins, Yogi Nath, who used surnames like Debnath, Debshama, Nath and Baumik who have taken their name from this scent. Community kitchens According to Arvind Pal Singh Mandair, a professor of Sikh studies, Garaknath orders in Punjab were operating free community kitchens in Punjab when Guru Nanak founded Sikhism. Garaknath shrines have continued to operate a langar and provide a free meal to pilgrims who visit. Topic. Works Romila Battaglia, an Indian writer of yoga history, lists the works attributed to Garaknath as follows Guru Garaknath is thought to have authored several books including the Garaksha Samhita, Garaksha Gita, Siddha Siddhantapadhati, Yoga Martanada, Yoga Siddhantapadhati, Yoga Bija, Yoga Chintamani. He is believed to be the founder of the Nath Sampradaya and it is stated that the nine Naths and 84 Siddhas are all human forms created as yogic manifestations to spread the message of yoga and meditation to the world. It is they who reveal samadhi to mankind. <laughs> Siddha Siddhanta Padhati The Siddha Siddhanta Padhati is a Hatha Yoga Sanskrit text attributed to Garaknath by the Nath tradition. According to Feuerstein 1991, p. 105, it is one of the earliest Hatha Yoga scriptures, the Siddha Siddhanta Padhati, contains many verses that describe the Avaduta. Liberated yogi, the Siddha Siddhanta Padhati text is based on an Advaita non-duality framework, where the yogi sees himself in all beings, and all in himself, including the identity of the individual soul Atman with the universal Brahman. This idea appears in the text in various forms, such as the following. The four varna castes are perceived to be located in the nature of the individual, i.e. Brahmana in Sadhakara righteous conduct, Kshatriya in Saurya valor and courage, Vaishya in Vyavasaya business, and Sudra in Siva service. A yogi experiences all men and women of all races and castes within himself. Therefore he has no hatred for anybody. He has love for every being. Topic. See also. Garak Hill Gurkha Gorkha Kingdom Garaknath Temple Korakar Ratan Nath Temple Tila Jogian Yogi Nath List of Hindu Gurus and Saints